Hi guys, it's Mary McIntyre here. Sorry I've not been on YouTube for a while, but my husband and I have been laid up with COVID. So outside of doing my busy talk schedule, I've had no energy left for anything else. So uh, something had to give. So YouTube has been neglected for a bit, but all better now, just a bit tired. And I'm so glad we have a sunny day today because there is a really beautiful group of sunspots that rotated into, into view from Earth a couple of days ago. And everyone's talking about them. So I really wanted to go imaging them and it's one of the nicest sunspot groups I've imaged in a long time. So I first of all shot some video with um, just our refractor with a white light filter on and my Barda Continuum filter and that's looking gorgeous. Then I put the H-alpha scope on and they are basically the most active, active regions I've seen for quite a while with this telescope. There, um, there was kind of like a lovely looping filament there, loads of bright plages, just stunning. So I've taken quite a few videos of that. And this is easier said than done because my laptop at the moment, over three quarters of the screen has basically lost everything except green. So I have a one inch strip at the top of Shark Cap where I can actually properly see my exposures and focus. So this has been a challenge. <laughs> it's been really hard. So hopefully I can get my laptop screen fixed soon. But anyway, I've managed to image that really big group of active regions and a couple of other nice kind of plage regions on there in HR alpha, few prominences and just as I looked up before I started to film this I saw an aircraft heading for the sun and I think it was a Boeing 777 has just transited the sun as well so it flew past that big active region so I'm so excited I absolutely love aircraft transits and they're one of those things I always seem to miss them by like a microsecond or I'm just focusing and one will fly past so I'm so excited that I managed to get that as well so I'm looking forward to processing these videos and showing you what I got. So, fingers crossed. Oh, I genuinely could cry right now. Mm. All of the videos that I took in H-alpha of the active region, I had to use the strip at the top of my screen to get the exposure right. I thought I had, but the middle of the active region is overexposed on all of the videos. And now it's windier and there's loads of clouds around, so I don't know if I'm going to get as good a, a shot at them as I had before. So frustrating. I really need to get this screen sorted out. I have another old laptop, but the USB ports don't work, so I literally don't have any other laptop I can use for this, so very annoying. The aircraft transit is good though, I've got that, and it was a Desalt Falcon, there were two aircraft very near the sun, and I looked on flight radar and picked the wrong one, obviously because I can't see my screen, I didn't know which one had flown across, but um, that's come out okay, so that's something. The white light stuff absolutely beautiful so at least something's gone right so far so i'm shooting a video right now and the uh loads of little clouds are oh, so annoying hopefully this one will work So here's the first picture. This is the white light picture showing that group of sunspots. Um, they're just beautiful. <laughs> I'm really, really happy with this picture. The Barda Continuum filter really adds contrast and shows the granulation of the solar surface. The sunspots themselves are just beautiful and those brighter bits you can see on the left side there are faculi. So they're structures that are kind of linked to what happens up in the chromosphere which is what you can see in H-alpha. So yeah this was just a 70 mil refractor so it's not a very big telescope but I used my Celestron Barlow to get in a bit closer and have a good look at that 
beautifulness. I really, really love that picture. The H Alpha stuff was a nightmare because I had to re record everything, but I did get a result that I was happy with. And it's really interesting to just compare the two um, wavelengths of light. So here's the H Alpha picture kind of oriented in the same way. North is up and this left side is the eastern limb of the sun. So these groups kind of rotated into view a couple of days ago. This is not as good as the original videos I took, but the center of the of the sunspot group was overexposed because I couldn't see properly on my laptop screen. Um, this whole area is just lit up like fireworks. It's just so gorgeous. And it looks like there are some active flares going on across the sunspots, beautiful filaments that are swirling around. It's just such a an active, active region. Visually through the eyepiece, it's the brightest set of plages that I've seen in a really long time. This area has been kicking out flare after flare after flare so we may get some aurora at mid latitudes in the next few days. As well as the sunspot region I also kind of zoomed around the limb looking for prominences and the best prominence group were on the, the kind of southeastern limb and that's this group here and some of this I couldn't actually see on screen. Like I could see bugger all on the screen, quite frankly. But when I actually processed this and started to bring the shadows up, I could see there was way more going on on that picture than I first thought. And at the top there, you can see the edge of some of the plages from that group of sunspots. And there's another little active region on the right hand side. There were a couple of other prominence groups as well that were not as striking as this one. I haven't shared these pictures on my Flickr page yet, but this one on the, the southwestern limb is a pretty decent size and a very nice prominence. Um, so, yeah, that was really pretty. All the, the H alpha stuff was done with a 2x Barlow because the seeing wasn't good enough to go more. Now, this one, the disc is horribly overexposed, but the faint prominences up on the, the northwestern limb there needed a kind of brighter exposure to bring them out. Um, I was so in love with these active regions that I decided um, to do some sketches from my photographs. So this is the white light sketch just done with a 2B Derwent graphic pencil on just some printer paper, actually. I need to buy myself a new sketching pad because printer paper gets wrinkly super easy, as you can see on this picture. But there's just such a beautiful sunspot group and sunspots are easy to draw because white paper and black is fine. I also wanted to draw the H alpha stuff and I did that in my black sketching pad using my coloured Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils. It was just too nice to not draw this. Um, I didn't do it at the eyepiece. I sort of wish I had but I was so stressed with the videos not working and my laptop not working so you know, in the end I just drew it from photographs and so the orientation is the same as the photos and it was just such a lovely region to try to draw. I also decided to draw the prominences that were on the um, the southeastern limb because that was like an interesting group. So I, I kind of picked up a couple of um, faint filaments and that little kind of bright plage as well. So I'm really pleased with those um, sketches. I'm glad I did them. Even though they're from photographs, you still learn so much. I keep saying this over and over again in my sketching workshops. Even if you draw from a photograph, you are learning um, because you have to study stuff in so much more detail. So there you go. Um, apologies for my kind of being overly dramatic earlier on in the video, but I get so upset when things aren't going as planned and first world problems. I know there are far bigger things going on in the world that people are worrying about. So I just take a chill pill and everything turned out fine in the end. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.